We'll begin by removing the old polycarbonate disc from the sample holder. A rubber faced hammer, um, one sharp blow. If you don't have a hammer, maybe a blunt stick, one quick blow should pop the old disc out. Um, it'll probably won't break, uh, shouldn't have any problem there. Um, now what we're going to want to do is remove all the old RTV from the sample ring. Um, a razor blade, a small flathead screwdriver, um, a small scraper can be used, um, but all the old RTV uh, must be completely removed. Um, you need to take your time doing this. Uh, the new RTV won't adhere um, where the old RTV is, so we do have to be careful to uh, make sure we have that groove as, as clean as possible. Um, some areas uh, might just take light pressure and you can peel it out in a long strip. Um, in other places you might have to, you know, put a little bit of pressure um, on that blade in order to uh, scrape out the old RTV. see I've got a little spot here that uh, is taking a little bit extra work. Uh, now we can take a uh, paper towel and uh, let's just run it through the groove uh, through the entire circumference of that ring um, making sure that it is completely clean um, before we uh, proceed and start putting new RTV um, in place. Uh, we are using uh, black silicone RTV. You can get it in, in these small tubes. Um, what we're going to want to do is uh, put a fairly thick bead um, in that entire groove, uh, making sure that there are no voids, um, or no air bubbles. Uh, we've got to be careful uh, that when we get around to where we started uh, putting the RTV on that uh, where the bead joins up again that we have uh, complete coverage. Um, the idea here isn't to be neat at this point. The idea right now is to make sure that we completely fill um, that groove there uh, where the polycarbonate disc is going to sit. Uh, for this step, um, I would get an entire box of Q-tips. Uh, we're gonna, probably going to use about uh, 50 of them at least. Um, what we want to do is hold the Q-tip uh, at a 45 degree angle so it touches the bottom of the uh, sample holder as well as the inside of the groove. Okay, and what we're going to do is um, take off the initial excess. Uh, so at a 45, holding at a 45 degree angle will go entirely around the um, inside of the sample holder. And now what we'll do is uh, come around the outside of the sample holder um, and just get the bulk excess away. Okay, this is kind of where we're now doing the entire inside edge. Let's take our polycarbonate disc now. You'll probably need your razor blade again to uh, peel off the protective covering only on one side. And then we'll take the side that we just uncovered. Um, we'll have that facing down and we will press the cover into the holder. Now we're going to take some isopropyl alcohol. Um, when we press that cover into the holder, uh, there will be some RTV that's squeezed out. Um, we'll use our Q-tip now, a little isopropyl alcohol, and we'll clean off that excess. Uh, nice and slow, take your time, um, and we'll have a cover that is as good as new. Uh, this video was um, edited a bit. Uh, the entire process took about 20 minutes. Um, once we have everything cleaned up, what we're going to want to do is uh, let that polycarbonate disc sit in the RTV and set. Um, usually 12 hours or overnight is uh, a good enough time. Uh, don't forget we do have to clean the inside as well. Um, and once we're done, you will have a uh, 
sample dish that's as clean as new.